welcome back. We're going to continue puzzle mode where we left off. Um, so where did we leave off? I think I'd completed, completed a good many of these. Wait, does this game not keep track of um, uh, which ones you've solved already? Oh, it does. Oh, good. So, yeah, we've gotten halfway through the easy puzzles, and let's continue with target practice. Help the USS Blimp Destroyer test its new targeting system. Shoot the blimp. Well... Let's see, we got this thing, and we got a blimp. We got a plank that's just trying to pull the trigger and just doesn't have enough momentum to do anything, apparently. Um, and so the rest is up to me. Um, well, let's see, we could plug in a light bulb. light bulb could ignite this. Let's see, does this have a default state that I could turn on or off? No, it doesn't. So I'm just going to assume it's on. Um, but it would only be on if the switch gets thrown. So this must throw the switch. And then we got the hamster who runs around the wheel. He's going to need to be running to the right because we're going to want this ball to roll right. And hopefully that's close enough. No, he's got to run the other way. Of course he does. I knew that. Kaboom. Oh, I get it. So that fills the gap. So now that pulls the trigger. Very cool. Let's check out the official solution. It's the same thing. Got it. Next puzzle. If I remember right, this calm little tune in the background and this calm ambient background, um, I don't know, plus the use of fireworks in a night setting and all that, it's, it's I think this was one of the things that established uh, the middle range puzzles on the original The Incredible Machine 2. Um, I really just thought this is a, I don't know, a gentle touch in the original game. Um, that said, I wish I could remember the solution, although I think it went something like this. We had to ignite the candle and then use this to catch uh, Tim's fall so he doesn't, like, die. Um, but what else was there? Oh, does this have to... Um, wait. Can I not pull the trap door this way? No, there's already a rope attached. The rope's attached to the lantern up here. Okay. Oh, that's right. Um, this lighter is uh, making use of the uh, teeter-totter that we installed. I think this is it. So you light the candle. I don't think there were necessarily this many obstacles in the original incarnation of this level. Uh, let's try that again. In particular, let me try tilting this a bit. Oh, right, and this has to be closer to the candle. That sprite overlaps a bit distracting, but not too much.
Kaboom! Alright, next puzzle. This house runs on wind power and he needs more energy. Well, he should just move. Just move somewhere where there's a lot of wind. That's all there is to it. Okay, but fine. If you're really committed to creating more wind energy, you're going to have to somehow make some wind. Um, anytime there's a rope, pretty much need to just cut the rope. Uh, unless there's something that's trying to cut the rope, in which case you need to prevent it from being cut. Um, Alright, so we got a magnifying glass, which seems to serve no purpose as I seem not to have a light source anywhere. Um, oh, I see the light source. It blends in with the background. You see it right there, right? This right here, that's a light bulb. That's really well camouflaged in with the background. Um, but yeah, to create some wind, we're going to do something like that. Um, and now we need to pull our chain. Unintended. Okay, so go through the pulley. Wait, where is our cable? Okay, I did not see how that attached to anything. It's possible it did hook up right, I just couldn't see it. All right. Yep, use the pulley. There we go. And I don't need any pin. Okay, so I hooked this up on the wrong thing. Uh, what? Pray tell, should I hook it up to? Or are we just saying that using the pulley here is wrong? Because it actually looks wrong. Isn't that inconvenient? Oh, I get it. So this is what the tack is used for. Uh, we have to get rid of the red balloon because it's occupying space. But if you pop it, yeah, it no longer holds back the hot air balloon. Drop the basketball into the cardboard box. Alright, what does this do? So let's start with the obvious. The pipe here. Okay. Come on. Let me just place my pipe. I want to place my pipe. Is that okay? Uh, we've got a one way pipe, which happens to be some kind of accelerator as well. Um. Jeez, this music is really annoying. Well, let me see if I can do something about that. There we go. That's better. Um, so I've got this accelerator. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is used somehow. Sure, why not? Let's see what happens. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Ship it. Um, clearly, the reason that failed was because this was not hooked up to that. That was the whole reason the entire contraption failed. Except for all the other reasons. Um, Oh, that's right. This tube um, is immovable. It's immobile. Um, okay. I had this pipe didn't need to be there. That was the first part, uh, part I installed in this puzzle. I said it was the obvious part, and it was wrong. But it was obvious. Um, Alright, so now what? Perhaps if I move this fan a bit more to the left, it'll, like, shove the ball into these conveniently placed scissors. Let's 
try that. There we go. And now our blue and white basketball makes it into the box. Uh, make some toast. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's make toast. Um, let's see. What's this? Okay, what am I missing? Kaboom. So I see a fan. I mean, okay, obviously something about the toaster is not exactly right. Oh, this is a mirror. We'll need a mirror to do this. Okay. Wait, can I do... No. That's not a splitter. Oh, I see. The other thing in my inventory is a splitter. That's a part that was not in the original game, so I didn't recognize it. There we go. Yeah. yeah. This was made by the same team that made the original The Incredible Machine. In fact, I think this is on sale in Steam for like a dollar. So, kind of hard to pass up. Uh, Milton is close to the cheese. You can almost taste it and blow up the wall so Milton can eat. Um, okay. So I need all the colors to go. Uh, we need a red. We need a green. I'm guessing we need a red here for some reason. And then we need a... Wait. Okay, so I see. We need a green and a red here so we get yellow. We need a red and a blue to add with the green so we get white. Easy. The egg really wants to get out in the wild, but there's a wall in the way. Get over the wall into the bushes. Okay. An egg. What's this egg? Ooh, that hurts. The original game didn't have an egg. Probably had some other part. Um, so, we want to prevent this rope, or we want to prevent this balloon from just flying free. Oh, that's an anchor. Okay, now I recognize it. Um, if I remember right, and I probably don't, there's a motor. Uh, that conveys the ball into the hamster wheel uh, to drive the rest of this mess. Oh, I did remember. I wonder if, like, this game replaced the tennis ball or some other part. Uh, Phil's trying to get some sleep. The candle's too bright. Blow out the candle so you can get to sleep. Okay. Um, well, blow out the candle. We're going to have to use a fan because that's how you blow out a candle. Everybody knows that. Um, this must be there to anchor that for some reason. And then what's this belt used for? Yeah, just leave the other end of it just hanging. Perfect. So we try to connect it down. Oh, wow. Did not realize that this game allows you to make belts that are like double the length of what you could do in the original game. That's going to make puzzles a lot more confusing and interesting. Nice. 
Tinker got himself tangled up again. Cut the leash so he can get home. What if I don't want to let Tinker get home? What if Tinker is the pro reason we have all these silly puzzles? Um. So, okay, what's this? So we got the blimp that's going to hit the ball. Down the pipe. Rolling over there. Oh, and that just falls off the bottom because this wooden platform thing isn't actually a uh, sprite. Um, so, then... The nice thing about this is you don't have to put gears everywhere just to um, get rotational motion to across the level. Just have one band instead of like a band and then a gear and then another gear and a band and all that. Having super long bands makes that a lot easier. Alright, next level. Flip the switch to turn on the... Oh, okay. Sure, what happens if I just go? Not much. What happens if I go and pull the switch? Okay, we got some electricity. With said electricity, we can um, trigger the rest of this. And there we go. Open. Now it beats me how he's going to close shop, because, I mean, there's nothing, no device to close things. Set off each bomb in a certain order to blast the bowling ball into the cardboard box. It's nice how they give these numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, the original game, you just had to place both halves of it, so you would know which matched up with which. Which is actually a little more straightforward. Um... Wait. That's number one. But this is number one. So what's that? Are there two number one bombs? I'm confused. Okay, yeah, there are two number one bombs. Okay, so see, good place to put number two would be down here. Uh, I don't see where number three would go, so let's discover that. Oh, hang on. Number two is not the second switch pressed. The second switch pressed is number four. Just to be silly. Alright. I can't see the number on that. But this is three, so that must be two. Um, so two's got to go somewhere. Uh, I'm going to assume here for some reason. And... I mean, the goal is to get the basketball into the... Okay, fine. Um, yeah, I don't see where you can go with this. The goal is to get the basketball into the box, is it not? So, you would... I mean, I'm just going to keep going with this, but I don't think I'm going to get too much farther. Maybe I should propel the box upward. That would be a possible solution. Most unlikely, but hey, why not? I've got to go check on one thing. food in the oven. So, um, what was the problem statement? Sit to blast the bowling ball into the cardboard box. 
Okay. Um, can that not destroy the incline? No. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, how am I supposed to get the bowling ball into the cardboard box? Let me take a closer look. Do, do any of the red walls disappear when I do this? No. Um... Just observe this in slow motion, then. There's no options on a cardboard box. Let's take a look at it. You can hold stuff and be pushed, dropped, and washed around your contraptions. Okie dokie. I'm just going to put the dynamite right in the box, because why not? At this point, what's there to lose? Okay, that was fun. Um, I guess I could stick this here. And maybe stick this here and just hope that somehow it works out. Yeah. yeah, I like that idea. Yep, there we go. Waldo can't take it anymore. Break Phil's bowl so Waldo can eat. So Waldo is the cat thing. Uh, gotta break Phil's bowl so Waldo can eat. Alright. So we've got to have an electrical outlet flipped in the up position, so when we activate it, that rolls uh, the bowling ball across our anti-gravity pad into the tube, uh, thereby doing whatever the rest of the apparatus does. It's important to let your pets eat. Uh, people down the valley want to go skiing, but first you need to do some avalanche control. We're sure there's nobody down there, right? Just checking. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know if I need that pulley or not, but it's just for the sake of having it, I'm going to have it. Alright. Um, I guess the only thing I can use to light the cannon would be um, the glass for the flashlight and magnifying lens. How far can this go? How far can this go? Oh, I see. Yeah, there's definitely a limit on these things. Does this still work? Yeah, it does. That's funny. It's a lot easier to check it um, in that kind of preview view um, the Incredible Machine 2 made you actually place it and run the entire thing to see um, whether or not there were any problems. Uh, this game, you can actually preview whether there's going to be a problem. Oh, hang on. This punch glove is going to put the candle underneath the cannon. I forgot about that. So what we're actually trying to ignite is the candle, and we can do that through the wall here. So it's important to know that rules of physics don't apply in this game. Um, are there extra parts? No, because I still have to figure out how to hit the glove. Um, wait, can the rope pull on the glove? Nope. I stick this up here somewhere and just... Okay, that didn't work. Let's just directly attach these two to each other. Did 
But no, there's some way to knock something into this. Um, what can a rope attach to? A pulley. You can just have a rope hooked up to a pulley for no reason. Uh, I could add another pulley and hook up the ropes to each other. Can the balloon set off the glove? Oh, yeah, we do have a balloon. I'm pretty sure that does work. Um, and if that doesn't accidentally run into it, you can do things like this. Uh, first of all, let's grab that. Just so it doesn't look silly. Second, um, what can I hook this up to? Oh, well, that's an anchor. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are ways to motivate the balloon to move left and right by pulling it with a rope. Um, so see, like there, just conveniently, or in this case not so conveniently, ignores the glove. Perfect. Just what we were aiming for. Uh, but no, the trick here... The trick here is that we got to release... Ah, this is what's going to release the balloon. There we go. That's why there are all those dominoes down there. And we missed. And the sad thing about that is if even if I move this left or right, that's not going to change... Um, oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Um, Tim's doing some work in his shed, helping blow up the foundation. Yeah, so I'm sure I'm going to get stuck on some of these um, even more so than what we've seen thus far. Right, so our objective was what? Help him blow up the foundation. I guess the foundation must be this stuff here. So he can get to work. Okay. If I do nothing, nothing happens. I stick a generator next to the socket. I'm sorry, a generator is something that produces power. If I stick a motor next to the socket... There we go. Uh, and that's that. That's all the puzzle ever does. Exciting stuff, really. Um, but no, we have to put a fan here, too, so this activates um, my trap card. Uh, all right. Um, so we got some scissors and rope. You know, they never introduced a part that could cut a rubber band. Or I guess in this case a gear band or whatever kind of band that is. I wonder if that's ever going to be a thing. Or if that would just be too confusing. Just what we needed. A plus. I can't even flip him. Well, that gets tricky. Oh, hang on. This motor's in the wrong place. It'll say, that's crazy, how could that possibly be in the wrong place? Well, the answer to that is that almost everything else is wrong, too. Alright, so this is where we need the generator and the motor. Because the motor can be flipped. Because it's a part that I placed. Existing parts I can't flip, but... Oh, but now nothing powers the motor because I don't have a band. Uh, that's 
annoying. And for want of a band, everything was lost. Okay. Close enough. Puzzle solved. Not really. Um. So yeah, I mean. Okay, so here's where the rope's supposed to go. That's one mystery down. Um, but yeah, uh, as for how to power the generator, the generator basically can't be powered by this. Uh, which I guess means that we don't need this conveyor belt powered, that the fan blowing the uppermost ball is enough to get it moving. And we have to flip the motor. the rope, drop the bucket, open the gate, and blow up the foundation. Milton, get the mouse, got stuck outside in a freak snowstorm. Get him home. Alright, well, so far he just runs this way and does not get home. That's convenient how he lands right on top of the uh, jack-in-the-box, though. Um... Also, what's this? That's just a sprite decorating the scene? Interesting. So we need to bounce Milton back this way. Unless there's some way I can cheese this. Like, can I just bump him the other direction? If I just strategically place this here? No, 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 no. Just a little bit to the right. Ah, oh, come on, it's close. Really close. Let's try it this way. Uh, not quite what we were looking for. Let's try it that way. Okay, fine. They've cheese-proofed the level. I am sad. And here they teach you something about... Oh, I don't know. There's no way I can, like, slow down the motor. It doesn't have any slow settings, so I have to uh, use lasers for very special reasons. Um, which include the fact that Milton gets in the way of the lasers. Uh, so yeah, is that a cyan laser? I didn't know this game had those. Strike, yeah, it does. Nice. So let's pick cyan. Um, oh, wait, what? Why was this not activated? Oh, because that's not a cyan laser. Its coating is cyan, but it's a blue laser. Is this also... this is also blue. There are two models of blue lasers. Well, that's not confusing. Um, how far can this go? About that far. This is probably not the simplest way to go. That did not work. Oh, I see. I just stick it back here. This is how Milton manages to interfere with it. 
Uh, stick the plug over here somewhere. Okay, perfect. Milton's too soon to the party. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what's his trajectory again? He goes way up and over everything. Um, so how do I ensure that he stands in the way of the laser long enough that it makes a difference? Can I just laser the snowballs, just for fun? No, they aren't part of the scene. Um... And I could stick this plug way up here somewhere. As for the motor, somewhere over here. But that's... I mean, that's barely going to interfere at all. But somehow this, I think, is used as a timing mechanism of some sort. Yeah, okay, so I have this wrong. Looks like the other laser has an input. I mean, it definitely looks different. Is this like a laser-powered laser? What is this? Inverse lasers are default turned on. Um, if they're hit by another laser, they will turn off. So, I guess that's the answer, is that we need, I mean, yes, yeah, so I can put this anywhere and it's on. Um, so, we use this to power the other laser, use the other laser, I'm sorry, to unpower the other laser. Uh, something like this. So as soon as Milton gets there, then this starts powering up. Yep, you're right. Yeah, you were correct. Uh... Everyone in the factory is too busy to feed Waldo. Get him some food. Um, okay, so we got a bowling ball, and that's our only moving part. Let's give that some more momentum. And since conservation of momentum is not a thing at this game, um, you can do things like that. Momentum in the system like this just increases and increases and continues increasing. Alright, so we've got this one way tube. Um, which we need to go up like this. Um, scissors, of course, uh, cut rope. supposed to pull the lever. And there you go. Boing. Boing. Hopefully the bowling balls collide. And they do. Ooh. Man, that blimp met a pretty awful fate there. Some jerk packed Tim in a box. Help Tim get home. Oh, poor Tim. 
Do I have to get him out of the box to get him home? Um, Alright, so how do we... <clears throat> How do we extract Tim from this box? Uh, well, first of all, what do we do? Oh. Okay, that that definitely gets Tim out of the box. I did not expect that. Um, so we'll do this and just propel Tim all the way across the world. Come on, give me the I want the belt I just placed. Can I have that? Okay, I'm going to delete that and attach it to the gear first, and then attach it to the conveyor belt. Oh, of course, I need something like a balloon to tell this hamster to get moving. Um, and that was apparently too early. Um, marginally later, but not making a difference. Um, hmm. I mean, this is a laser. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a phaser. So, um, so if I had a rope pulley, I want this rope because I want its other end to attach to this balloon here. Well, that was weird. Oh. Huh. Can I, like, take the rope and thread it through there? No, I have to do it like this. Um, if I remember right, the original game had you stick it somewhere like here. Oh, it has just one... no, I was gonna say, yeah, this puzzle has more than one shot in that laser. Um... And now, just to get him home, just put the teeter-totter in the way, and hopefully he walks the right way. Oh, no, come on. Tim, don't let me down here. You can't be going the wrong way on me. Just need to carefully walk the correct direction, and you'll be safe. There we go. Keep going, Tim. Ah! Come on. Don't let me down, Tim. Got a feeling that I might have cheesed a puzzle. But man, they made these puzzles harder to cheese than the originals. There we go. Yeah, let's see the official solution, which looks like nothing like that. So yeah, he activates a uh, hot air balloon, which gets the uh, bucket out of the way, and walks home on the ground. Which, I mean, seems like a more orderly and less chaotic way to do it, but whatever. Ran into a huge iceberg, helped him blow up the explosives that he rigged. Um, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Are you sure you want me to do this game? Okay, so... Uh, move this up a little, can I? There we go. We got Steve. Uh, yeah, we do. I was gonna say, why is that taking so long? Um, so, it turns the gear. How do I get any of this moving? I've got a pinwheel. That's to collect energy, not to um, distribute it. Yeah, I don't get it. Arguably, I could connect this to that. Uh, 
arguably I could connect this to who knows what. Um, well, let's just see how that goes. Perfect. Exactly what we were hoping for. Except for the parts that didn't go the way we wanted. Other than that, it was perfect. Um, let's see, let's add a gear. Actually, we don't need to do that. We just flip this. Just because we can. Oh. Is this to say that we can have uh, more than one thing hooked up? Now we're thinking with portals. Um, so this was the correct way. And this just needs to go the other way, like that. Well, if that doesn't look funny, yeah. Huh. I hadn't considered that I created a perpetual motion machine. That's funny. Yeah, that was not the objective. Um, so I'm going to need to tie this to the smaller gear, which is going to offer some mechanical advantage by making things go faster. By magic. Let's watch this go a little bit faster. There we go. Tim accidentally activated the self-destruct on his secret lab. Help him stop it by popping the blimp. I don't know, should Tim be having a secret lab given all the other things he's been doing? I mean... Okay, so to pop the blimp, the most dramatic way we can do it is with the phaser. Shooting from behind. Uh, how do I pull that phaser? Okay, there's only one thing in the level I can attach a rope to, apparently, and that's the teeter-totter. Yeah, rope can't attach itself to anything else. So be it. Um, I mean, I could put the pulley down here so this looks a little less silly, but... Only marginally less. Might even look more silly uh, that way. But okay. Um, and of course, I have no objects that have mass or nothing that can fall. So I can't just like put something on top of there, teeter totter, and just have it fall conveniently. Um, yeah. Oh, I get how that's going to destroy the lab. That's kind of funny. And yeah, there goes the lab. Puzzle failed. Although this game lets you play out the solution even after you failed. So, anyhow. Yeah, we're going to need a corner pipe. Um, we're going to need to direct the bowling ball uh, this way. Something like that. 
And it's going the wrong way. Let's try it this way. And there goes our bowling ball. Right up the vacuum. Um, so, of course, what you need to do is get this to move slower. So you tie the one band to the small gear, the other band uh, to the large gear. Oh, in fact, this needs to have its own outlet. Um, because that powering is very temporary. Um, and I have it going the wrong way. Just for good measure. There we go. That should be the solution. We'll see if I manage to get things right the first time. Probably not. Oh, but hey! Okay, I missed. Close enough. Um, yeah, now how'd I miss? What was my mistake here? Fine, we'll shoot it from up front. Despite how honorable that is, in some sense. There we go. I still think my contraption's too slow. Oh, it's not. It's just in time. Okay. Grand opening of the fireworks factory is tomorrow. But Waldo wants to do it early. Help him launch the fireworks to celebrate. Wow. This puzzle has a lot of parts. None of which are moving in the original configuration here. Um, so yeah. What's even going to start this? I mean, I see that we have a candle and a conveyor belt. It's kind of obvious what's going to happen at the end. But... Um, that's for the beginning. Who, who knows? Here, let's get Waldo moving. Perfect. Alright. Um. I assume something like this needs to be done. See, it's not a perfect connection, so let's hook it up that way. Um, to actually rotate this, we'll have to put it out there. I want to actually do it like this. Okay. The point of all that, so... Whoops. Let's hook this up to the other end. <clears throat> let's grab this. There we go. There we go, that pulls the steam whistle, flips the switch, switch presumably turns a motor, motor is always facing the wrong way by default, so we have to flip it. Oh, come on. Let's try that again. Can I not hook that up? Okay, can I hook it up the other way? Fine. I guess I did something uh, with the boundary condition that it didn't like. Um, yeah, we'll use this flashlight. And light up our candle. Ah, but of course. Our bowling ball has to go the other way. Um, yeah, you 
you can use these on inclines too, just in case you didn't know. So if you're so inclined, you can do this. Go, 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 go. Okay, that was close. Let's try like this. Close enough. some reason I think uh, things move faster with steeper inclines in this game. Though, in real life, that's not at all how things would work. Um, but yeah, that works here. <laughs> and this is why I need the second accelerator. Um, I didn't think that would be necessary, but Apparently, to get enough momentum um, to get to the other end, it's got to do that. There we go. <laughs> I get it wrong again. Alright. Or maybe I had it all right all along. Just testing you, seeing if you're paying attention. Uh, let's take this band, stick it on the large gear. Take this, stick it on the small gear. And go! Faster. have this pointed the wrong way now. Oh wait, you can't flip this in this game. Wow, that used to be one of the other annoying aspects of the game. Is that in the original game, the magnifying glass had an orientation. And if you had it oriented the wrong way, um, things would not light. Tim's getting some yard work done. Help him clean up by sucking up the basketball. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like yard work to me. Um, definitely sounds like yard work. Okay. Um, so, how do I get this ball? Cross. Or can I just, like, okay, this isn't large enough to bridge the gap. Um, this collides with too many other things, or does it not? No, this might work. Well, that was optimistic. Let's try it like that. Alright, um, so next, next something has to happen here, I'm not sure what. What's going to flip that? How many rubber band or belts do I have? I've got two belts. Well, that didn't work. Um, 
Yeah, let's try hooking it up there instead. And that's nitroglycerin. Oh, is this extended too far? So there is some limit. Uh, which necessitates you to actually use gears. Okay. That's cool. Let's try it that way. So what's supposed to happen is that um, soccer ball punches the bowling ball to motivate everything else to move, right? Nice. Did it with a part to spare. Time to bust out of this cave, blow up the nitro to blast a way out. Okay. Ah, uh, the nitro must mean the nitroglycerin. Of course, I have n all the objects I have are weightless. Um, so, that makes this a bit more challenging. Do I have a band? I have a single band, so it has to attach directly from the conveyor belt to the hamster wheel. Um. <laughs> okay, what can I do with any of this? Got a lot of parts and not very much room in which to operate. Um, can I do something to help this, uh, this, I guess, missile be upright? And something to light it, maybe? Uh, let's try that. Is that blocked by the wall? If so, that's going to be unfortunate. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Ish. Is that coming back? No, it's not. Yeah, that didn't work. I wanted it to work. Let's try moving this over a bit more. Wait. Wait. Can I get that to go through the pipe? to change its angle. It's not at all how the part works, if I remember right. Oh, really? Oh, now we're cooking with gas. Because now I can convey it through another pipe. Something like this. Okay, I see why they call this rocket science now. Because we're doing discovery with rockets. Oh, hey, look, I can stick a pipe on a weird angle like that. Um, it just won't connect with anything if I do. <laughs> um, Alright. But yeah, let's do it like this. The boring way. And then up. And then hopefully... Just convey it like that, and it blows up the nitro. And we didn't even need our conveyor belt. 
because of the magic of rockets. There we go. Let's see the official solution. Oh. Oh. Okay. I like my solution better. Real time puzzle playback will appear to be slow. This is normal. I wonder what it means by recording solution. Regardless, I have now recorded a solution, so yeah. That's pretty cool. Slow motion. Okay. I could share this on YouTube. Spiffy. Um, all right. What causes the rocket to ignite? Well, whoops. Uh, let's go back. So, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I goofed. So, where were we? We had gone beyond piece of cake. We had gone into the medium mind bogglers. Um, specifically rocket science. Uh, what caused the rocket to ignite was that I was using this part. Um, this part uh, is just a matchstick. So, I had a rope that pulled the matchstick, um, and the matchstick was right underneath the platform here. So that's what caused it to shoot off. Like, I could have done it even a bit more like this. Um, let's see. Something like that. As long as the seesaw activates, I think it would. Um, it's a little tricky to cheese it just the way I did. I was really surprised that it did that. Uh, I need the rope on the lower end of this. Can I get that rope, please? Pretty please? Something like that. Well, that was weird. Did this just put itself out? somehow. Yeah, so I managed to do that perfectly somehow and come up with an incredibly cheesy, really difficult to implement solution um, over the preferred method. Yeah, playing with fire. Ah, right, so this is one of them like, from the original puzzle set. The idea is you were to stick a rocket right here, I think. And that rocket's going to ignite uh, the candle. Uh, what causes all this to go off? Well, I think, I think this does. I forget exactly how some of this works, but... I think something along these lines were done in the original puzzle set. Um, the original being for the Incredible Machine 2. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to take a short break here. Uh, deal with some environmental issues. Uh, I guess I'll just leave this running some pests to take care of, unfortunately. <laughs> so. Hopefully they'll be so kind as to leave. I uh, wonder how they even got in here. Well, I do 
do not see them, so I'm sure they'll be back. Um, so wait, how's this? Oh, that just fell over from the initial position. Right, so this needs to be closer to there. Really, is it that bottom heavy? Um, I keep getting this wrong. There we go. Something like that needs to happen. And that'll light our hot air balloon. Except the hot air balloon has to be lined up um, something with this rocket here. Right? Oh, I get it. I'm sorry, the hot air balloon goes past the rocket. The original game had this with just a rocket lighting another rocket, which was pretty easy to figure out. Easy! Now we're playing with... whoa. Did we see that again? Yeah, now we're playing with fire. Which way did that rocket go? It's like it launched and it flipped around and then came back on and... Yeah, I mean... I guess that's the intended solution, but that's pretty funny. Tim's got a robot cat? Since when? Are you sure that's a robot cat? Insert cat. Okay. If you say so. Um... Wait, what's going to happen if I do nothing? That. So... We need to... Teeter... The teeter-totter? Uh, maybe the other end to go through the pulley to that end. Um, and that does nothing. Now it hits the mouse here. Mouse here does some rotation. Come on, plug this in. Can I flip this? Okay, yeah, I can. And then our generator is hooked up to the hamster wheel, which I incorrectly called a mouse wheel. It's a hamster wheel. And I've got a rope to spare, apparently. That's weird. I don't know, is that really a robot cat? Was that what I was supposed to release? Or am I supposed to do something with the box here? Or maybe I'm supposed to do both? Ah, maybe I send the cat in the box. Yeah, sure. Is that what it asked for? I just want to make sure. Get him into the box and then return to the manufacturing plant. So, okay. I misread it the first time. Phew! The balloon's been misbehaving. It's time to pop the balloon. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. It goes down and up and across and down again. And, of course, the only sharp objects are in the lower left. So I have to get the balloon over there. Um, the only thing I can really place anywhere nearby would be this hamster wheel. Uh, or hamster wheel. I'm mispronouncing it, I think. I'm putting a P in there when there should not be a P. Um... That's going to activate the generator. The generator in turn activates a motor, which activates the generator, which activates a motor, and so forth. Because that's the least efficient way you can do these things. 
Um, oh, is there a limited range to the anti-gravity pad? I don't think so. Um, all right. We've got a switch. What's our switch gonna do? It's gonna power something, apparently. Here, let's flip that off and then something like this. Um, huh. Maybe I flip that the other way and just stick it here. And this ensures that our balloon gets across safely. Um, hook it up like that. Oh, I've got additional anti-gravity pads. That's convenient. There we go. That looks right. Except, you know, missing the first step. But, you know, assuming we got past the first step, that would have been perfect. Yeah, no, this is completely wrong. All because that first step does not work. That's a pity. Uh, is there anything I can do? Probably not. Other than start over. Oh, hey, look, I got it. That was rotating the wrong way anyhow. So this needs to flip. But, yeah, I think... I think I missed something pretty key here. So, we need to have the switch here. Um, I need to move the generator up here somewhere. Along with our hamster wheel. Please! <sighs> Darn it. I think I could just get the pests to leave rather than enter. That would be a positive thing. Um. Oh, right, I need to attach this here. Uh, anything else? Probably elevate this as much as possible. There we go, that fits. Let's run it! Uh, the balloon will just float up on its own. There we go. Let's just do that one more time in case we missed anything. So the balloon goes up on its own volition, the motor powers it left, and there we go. Yeah, it's just a helium balloon, which is why the anti-gravity pads pull it down, or up. Because it's less massless than the air around it. Someone put in an order for a new cat. Uh, get Waldo into the box so he can be shipped off. Oh, okay. This is going to be the cat replacement for Tim. Well, first we got to make some food in the catamatic. All right. Apparently, I've got to put this closer to the edge. Oh, never mind, I just have to activate that. But to do that... Hmm. That's actually hugely problematic, because I can't plug this in down here. And then stick it over here. It's got to be plugged into this outlet. Um, like, literally, the controls will not allow me to attach it to the other outlet. Uh... So, I've got to find some way to toggle the switch. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, color me stumped. Uh, oh, a pipe wall? Oh, that's right, the game does have pipe walls. But what good are they? I mean, I could use that so the bucket doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I could use a rope to attach the two buckets to each other. That looks fancy. Let's try that. our pipe wall to direct the ball into the bucket. So I think the other key is that once this um, once the soccer ball flipped that one switch uh, you do want to cut the rope. I'm not sure how it's going to get cut, though. Um, oh, here we go. That's our rope cutter right there. If I block the other outlet with a pipe... Um, I'm out of pipes at the moment, but you're saying if I, like, take this and block the other outlet. Oh, I'm sorry, no, you can't, that wouldn't block it. There's no concept of, like, overlapping sprites with each other in any meaningful way in this game. Um, so I'm forced to use the outlet that I'm using. Um... Maybe I could expedite this a little bit here. There we go. The original puzzle set didn't have many timing-based puzzles like that, and I actually appreciate what the originals had. Oh, I'm sorry, let me actually read this. Free the balloon and let it fly off the top of the screen. Yeah, I appreciate that there aren't so many timing puzzles in The Incredible Machine 2. That was one of the nicer points of that puzzle game, is that you could program out your solutions and most of it wasn't timing based. It was pretty straightforward and casual. Uh, they made some of these a bit harder, I see. Oh nice, it just fits. I failed to fit that correctly, but the game decided that they knew what I was talking about. Um. Huh. That ball was not heavy enough. Okay. So apparently I need the other ball somehow up there too. Oh, I get it. So this... Uh... This mouse has to run against what the other things that are running. Long enough that the vacuum is no longer powered, so this bowling ball can make it over there to double the weight in the bucket and pull up the cage so Tim can hit the scissors and launch the balloon. Hmm. That makes sense. Tim is sitting on his thinking cloud trying to get expired. Turn on the light to give him a bright idea. Why? Oh, there's Tim. Jeez, what is up with this puzzle? Okay. This is one of the more fun points of the original game, is hooking up teeter-totters to each other. Just teeter-totter physics. Um, in this case, you see that as this goes up and down, the other one goes up and down. Um, 
So we need a motor. The motor is going to turn this conveyor belt. Assuming I can get, there we go. Um, put an electrical switch here and allow it to be toggled. Um, let's see just how this plays out. Huh, I put it in the wrong space. It needs to be down here a bit more. There we go. I cut the scissors, which allows the blimp to move. The blimp hits the bucket. Blimp goes back. Blimp hits the bucket again, and so forth. And if we don't want to wait for that to go back and forth all day, um, we put this in the way. I like the solution speed button. A really nice touch. Tim's trying to go on a hike, but the bridge is out. Fix the bridge and get Tim to the other side. Okay. What does it mean by the bridge is out? Can I just, like, stick one of these here and be done? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Can I put a trap door to support the other end of this? I'm gonna bet that doesn't work either. Of course not. Can I um, attach the trapdoor? Uh, okay, so neither way that I can attach that prevents it from falling. Although, I could make a cool bridge like that. Now, let's see, can Tim make it? No, no, he cannot. Damn it, Tim! So close, and yet so far. I could stick the counterweight there. Oh, is that it? Or was there more to this? Okay, what was this asking for? Fix the bridge and get Tim to the other side. So what if I stick this in the middle? We've got like a suspension bridge. Oh, yeah, I, I hadn't even thought about that. You're right, it is kind of weird that the balls don't just roll down the conveyor belt. I had not even considered that, but you're right, that is pretty weird. Oh, really? Okay, so I need... <laughs> uh, can I stick this somewhere convenient? Can I have him walk across this? I don't think so. But if I could, I could shoot him in the back and get him across the bridge. But he's not going to walk on top of that. Yeah. Um, hmm. Fine. So, just stick some objects under the bridge. Hope that Tim doesn't complain too much. Of course he will. Of course he's just going to refuse to go across this makeshift bridge. Yep. Hmm. This means I actually have to solve the puzzle as intended. Darn. Alright, so what that means is probably that I've got to pull this trigger. Uh, to pull it, I've got to do something silly like uh, one, two, three, and then have the mouse release the balloon, something like that. Then our counterweight um, will be free. <laughs> I like this bridge. Oh, there goes Tim. 
unfortunate to beat him today. Uh, that was such a good bridge. That was so good. How could it have gone wrong? Oh, yeah, you're right. That rather than do things the dumb way, why don't we just drop the counterweight by shooting what's actually a nitroglycerin hiding underneath it. There we go. Problem solved. I liked my solution, though. The one that just, like, launches Tim repeatedly. If he hadn't fallen off the screen, it might have worked. Waldo's pool isn't keeping him cool enough. Turn on the fan to keep him out. Alright, so we got a bowling ball. Bowling ball activates that. I'm gonna make some toast, apparently. Although the toaster's not plugged in, so that's not gonna do anything. Um, let's see, where can I put this? Can't put it there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay, let's assume that this releases the balloon. Probably an invalid assumption, but let's just go with it. If we can just grab this other end down here. Apparently I cannot. Oh, there we go. And then stick this under there. No. It's too far. Okay, that's why we have to do things the complicated way. Um, complicated way being like so. Uh, what else am I missing? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. This bowling ball hits the hamster wheel. Make some toast. Watch the balloon, hit the basketball. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Tim never does things the easy way. Neither do I. Help him crack the egg and make an omelet. Where's the egg? Is there an egg in here? Oh, there's the egg. Wow, that's going to be difficult to access. Um, okay, scissors belong somewhere over here. That's about all we know. Here, let's stick a flashlight somewhere over there. Uh, put a cannon. Kaboom. Alright, um, what else? I mean, yeah, how am I going to get through any of this? It's tricky telling where the foreground and the background layers are. Gun needs to shoot the nitro. Okay, noted. Yep, I'll shoot the nitro. I need to read that more often. Um, so, can I do that? A plus. Oh, is this a fan? I see. Okay, let's put some cheese over here. Yeah, now Milton's all motivated. He wants the cheese. Too bad, he's not getting any cheese. Gonna stick him up there. And there we go. Oh, the egg does have eyes. 
Should I make anything of that? A plus. Help Milton get home. Well, really, getting home is just about defining what home is. I mean, isn't he home now that he's got his cheese? considered home because yeah no, I suppose home is actually where the little house icon is let's stick some cheese on the plunger um, what else is going on here Could add some magnifying glasses in here. Because why not? That looked cool. Um, oh, I get it. So this can actually attach to that somehow. And we can stick our cheese somewhere more meaningful, perhaps. Or leave the cheese there. Um, use this to pull that. Does he actually consume the entire cheese? I don't think he does. All right. Use the other one to pull this. And hey, look, we got a spare rope. And uh, whatever this is. What is this? It's just a board. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to use such a board for. I mean, I could balance the board on top of the hot air balloons and stick this on top. I almost managed to feed Milton to the cat. That would have been an achievement right there. At least I would feel some sense of achievement from it. Um... Alright, so I'm missing something here. Something that's going to motivate Milton to move further. <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. A plus. What's the official solution? Okay, looks not. Ah, oh, you can. Okay, just elevate the cat. Yeah. Okay, that, that would motivate him. I couldn't figure that out. Help Tim get past the fan and get home. Is the fan too much of a... Oh, it is too much of a nemesis. Alright. Well, clearly. Just need to power a laser to shoot the other thing. And that'll be that. Simple, eh? Oh, but we need to power that. Okay. Oh, but then we need something to activate the generator. And, um... It's just one thing after another. Actually, yeah, it's not going to be the mouse that does it this time. It's going to be the bellows. It's not going to be the hamster that does it, rather. Doesn't matter which way that's oriented. Uh, that's just a question of timing. Uh, 
Oh, not very good timing. All right, so. So now what? Ah, a mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is there any way I can cheat this? At all. Um, oh, I get it. I remember this one. Um, let's grab this. This was, in fact, from the original level set, if I remember right. So I think the mechanism for this is a little bit different. Wait, did that actually work well enough? No. So... After this, this goes down there. This turns the hamster wheel. And sure, why not? Let's add a vertical pipe between them. Does that work? Well, only if I place these things in the right spaces, right? Close enough. There might be a little air gap, but who cares? And there we go. Arctic winds. It's lunchtime. Blow the whistle. Well, that was not so easy. Where is the whistle? Is the whistle in my inventory? No, there's the whistle, right there. Alright, so ultimately what's going to pull that um, is going to be our hot air balloon, which is the only thing I can affix a rope to. Um, need a magnifying glass to get that a going. And the rest of this, not so simple. Um, okay, got a blue laser plugged in over here. Uh, we need a laser mixer. Just gonna output a uh, purple beam as soon as I put my splitter in place. Oh, I need a splitter and a mirror. Um, I see. This is a different sort of thing here. Yeah, now that's the right angle. There's my splitter. Uh, right. And then we move this up. Uh, gives us a purple beam, which powers the conveyor belt or powers the motor to knock the soccer ball over the edge which in turn is going to activate this bellows here and I think there we go and with that that's the lunch break um, let's see Activate the large nitro collider, drop the wrecking ball into the nitro for science. Because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen when wrecking ball hits a nitro. We need to do this for science. Um, any bets on what's going to happen? Uh, so, okay. Need to plug this in somewhere. Um, yeah, let's put this over there a bit. Uh, baseball is going to activate the hamster cage, which is going to be powering the generator. Generator generates electricity. Um, 
Can I change this to properties? No. Hopefully that just means it doesn't care what color we use. That seems to be the case. Oh, I get it. I see what this extra laser is for. Do you? Here we have the conservation of energy at work. And by that, I mean perpetual motion, in a sense. Ah, you bet that it produces water when we drop a wrecking ball onto a nitro. Oh my gosh, you were right! Okay, next. Dr. Tim's clone army has turned against him. Activate the security system and blow up the bridge. Ooh, is this a security system? Oh, that must be Dr. Tim. This must be, allegedly, the bridge. Uh, I'm not sure how to activate any of this. It does not look very activated. Um, just saying. Does this have any momentum at all? No, it doesn't. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and he's going to get overridden. It's unfortunate for Tim. Um, but it's good for the clones, so I mean, it benefits the many, just not the one. Okay, so I suppose this is where I'm supposed to put that. Um, probably do need to flip this so it's going to the left. Alright, and this weightless ball is going to trigger our cannon. Cannon uh, will launch a ball that does have weight. Uh, oh, which in turn drops the nitros. Nice. Although one of the clones did enter the building. Tim will take care of that one. Pop the balloon. Straight to the point. The point is to pop the balloon with the point. Wrecking ball hitting the nitro just invented infinite electricity. Oh, did I go offline? I did not notice. Um, I am offline. Well, that's a pity. I guess I'll have to end it here unless I can get back online. See what I can do about that. Um, we're on attempt number four. Three, two, one. Is Twitch going to let me back online? Twitch, are we back? OBS tells me we're back. But Twitch. Okay, fine. I think we're online now. As best as I can tell. Um, nothing dropped on my end, but um, apparently Twitch just forgot about me. Uh, so, let's see. There goes the mouse. Uh, let's just stick an anti-gravity pad. Oh, that's not an anti-gravity pad. This is the anti-gravity pad. Just put it here just to mess with Milton. It's for no other reason than just to have some fun. But no, I think I'm supposed to put it here so he just doesn't get the cheese. Poor Milton. Doing his work for no pay. Alright, so... Ultimately, we will want to get uh, Waldo to go after the cat food. Uh, this is a solar-powered outlet. So... Oh, right. I don't need a magnifying glass for that to work. All I need is for this to trigger. 
or rather this, because that's where uh, Milton lands. And the reason we need Waldo, I guess, is to scare uh, Milton number two into running into the hamster. The hamster's going to go all ballistic, um, thus creating energy. And that energy can be used to power a fan, um, like so. Look at all the energy we're inventing. The Martian mining colony suspends space rocks back to Earth. We'll launch the rocket. Okay, well, just hook this up here, hook that up there, and we're done. Except for the other things we need to do. Um. Like, I guess we need um, a lighter material there. Um, what's the point of this out here? I mean, what's that going to power anyhow? I'm sorry, that powers the laser. But what's the laser going to do? The laser's going to hit the mirror. Hit the other mirror. Hopefully, come somewhere close. Um, that to power, we're gonna need this. Oh, there's our energy source. Let's try that. How far can I get this? Oh, let's just put it there. Magic. Well, we had energy for a brief moment, and then we did not. All right, so. Let's try moving that over a bit. So how about this way? A plus. Very cool. Launch the rocket. Okie dokie. We can do that. Oh, there's a gap that's almost the size, but not exactly. I mean... I generally look for clues like a gap of a very specific size and a prop of the exactly that same size. Um, but they've been making this a little bit more challenging, so... First of all, where did the rocket... Oh, there it goes. Um, so we're going to need this to light the rocket. Um, let's just stick that there, I guess. Um, all right. Close enough. Uh, I suppose I do have to plug this in, don't I? Can I plug this in over here? And then... Oh, is this lens fixed in place? Yes, it is. It's, there's no cheesing it that way. Um... Huh. So what's the point of the light bulb? If I can't use that with the lens. So I don't have a power source to plug it into. And the closest thing I've got is over here, so I guess the point's to light this. Oh, and then the candle gets close enough and lights the rocket. Alright. But I can't hook up rope to a candle. So I have to have some other way of propelling that. Say, so let's put it on a board. 
and slay it across. Um, I suppose fairy would be a more appropriate word. So we take that, take this, and go. Perfect. There is no way in which any of that can be improved. Um, other than all of it. So, okay. I don't know, let's look up that. It does absolutely nothing. A plus. Plus, plus, plus. Um. Alright. So, what am I supposed to do with any of this? Can I tie... Oh, I was wishing I could tie this to Waldo over there. How great would that be? Get it a little bit closer? No. Alright, so that's a bit too early. Um, yeah, I don't know. Where am I supposed to put this bucket? Let's try right there. Yeah, that doesn't quite work either. Um. <laughs> So, turns out this one is a little bit challenging. Okay, we'll delete the stick because I'm trying to get this rope object. I want to hook it up up there. Um, Maybe he's supposed to punch the bucket. Maybe the punching of the bucket. Um, I don't know. Maybe the punching of the bucket's something significant somehow. Let's try it. Yeah, now that was a bit too extreme. Trigger the cat, just because we can. Um. Create a double wide sled, just again, because we can. Wait. This is too much slack or something. Let's just tie it directly there. Oh, I get it. There's a platform supporting all this. Is there not? Why is there a limit to how far that can go? Uh, it's because I'm hooking it up here. Uh, whereas if I like hooked it directly to the plank, now that wouldn't matter. Maybe it would. Okay, 
let's just put this plank down here so I don't have nearly as much rope to deal with. Uh, we need a bit more rope, though. We need a little bit more slack. Okay, we'll stick uh, Waldo between the two ends here. Waldo was not enough to slow that down. Um, okay. Like, candle plank, rope, bucket rope. Bowling ball plank. Right. Candle plank, rope, to bucket, to rope, to the bowling ball plank. So instead of having the one on the right trigger all of this, um, do something a little bit more complicated. Something like... Let's not use any pulleys we don't need to. Yeah, something like that. And tie this separately, I guess. Or maybe tie the bowling... Oh, hang on. This is just a loose end here. Uh, so I guess we have to tie it somewhere like that. I don't know. Are you saying I can't tie multiple ropes... I'm not sure how that's working. It's basically telling me I can't tie this anywhere except there. Um, that's not quite going to be what we're aiming for. Yeah, no, I think that's not quite it. Um... Let's try tying it to that end, and then trying tying this to the other end. Just to be confusing. I don't know. Maybe with a little more slack it won't pull the one out. Oh. That slack goes pretty quickly, doesn't it? Um, we're getting close-ish. But yeah, I'm definitely going down the wrong path here. The timing of all this is incorrect. Um, but I'm sure I don't know what else could be pulled or pushed in this situation. That's a thing. Unless there's... I mean, it's not a pull switch uh, light bulb. It's just this is always on. Uh... You could drag the candle while just having the dude walk into the bucket. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I could like stick this under here and have the guy just walk into the bucket. Uh, I don't think he's gonna reach it. Yeah. Um, you could put drag the candle by just having the dude walk into the bucket so it'd be small movement instead of a punch. So I guess you're saying that like take one of these planks. Although I think this is one of the first things I tried but maybe not. I'll just span the gap this way and see if he's willing to cross it. And he's not. Um, yeah I'm not sure I can't move the candle. Like, this is one of the original parts that was there before I started. Um, so I got some leftover parts now. Oh, does that not hook up? Oh, right, because I did something stupid the first time. Ah! Where'd I put that? It's got to go back. could drop into the bucket from the gap. Oh, right. I forgot this is one of the parts I added. So 
so the timing of this is not right. Um, but yeah, I could improve the timing by just having this punch the hamster wheel. Um, Let's see, what do we hook up where? Maybe we do it this way. Well, he fell in the bucket. Okay. Number two is falling into the bucket. Sucks for them. Oh. And they aren't even, like, causing anything to happen. That's a pity. Uh, I have something block it from swinging. So instead of suspending it like this, put something couldn't find any part. I mean, this would be the only part I could move to prevent it from swinging. Um, I guess I could stick it here or something. And then say, we're not going to hang it this way. Um, can I take this end of the rope? Where's my rope? Okay, give me my rope back, please. I want my rope. So, let's go there. Oh, that's better. Um... Still, that's not going to ferry my uh, plank on the left. What happens if I try this? Yeah, then my timing is completely messed up. Could I do something like this, perhaps? Um, and then I need to find some way, I guess hang it like this, I guess, and then somehow encourage the Tims to something something. Huh, I've never done this kind of suspension before, but maybe... Maybe there's some point to that. <laughs> Maybe the point's entertainment. Faster, Tim, faster! Need to get this lit! Oh. Alright. Uh, what if I put the bucket up here? Well, what if I put it up here? And then say we're going to pull it through the pulleys. But not this top pulley, just the bottom one. That was a bit too violent of a force to be reckoned with. What if I do it like that? What if I do it like this? Okay, I think I could slightly move this over, but that's not going to matter much. Man, that's one heavy bucket. It's got a lot of momentum. Hmm. If only that didn't have as much momentum. Um, put a plank in front of the cat, and that plank attached to the candle plank. 
I'm out of ropes at this point, but this here doesn't appear to be doing very much. Like, is, is my cat food thing even activating? No. So, I don't really need any of this. So yeah, then just put this there like you're suggesting. Uh, take this rope, stick it over there. Use that plank to pull the other plank. Something like this. It's still too much momentum, but it's slowing down a little bit. Um... I could hook this up through uh, through both pulleys, so it has a more gradual descent. But it's not getting my candle's not getting burned fast enough. It's just barely not enough. And oh, hang on. What if I put this way out front? How far out front need I put this? Like. Do I have to put it there? How about here? Next challenge is making sure that the candle lights. Okay, we're getting close. Surprisingly. There we go. That's now the official solution. See that? We've got our bucket. Bucket triggers stuff, and we light our rocket. All right, puzzle solved. Uh, I'll copy that to the clipboard, and let's take a look at how you're supposed to do it. Oh, you punch the bucket, like as I was. Oh, look at that! You can stick the board vertically in front of. Um, the cat. And this uh, effectively creates some kind of sled. I never would have figured that out. There should have been something in the tutorials about that. Um, you don't need the falling bucket if you just activate the cat feed. Yeah. The robo cats are out of food. Turn on the mixer to make a new batch of food. All right, well, we've got a green laser. It's gonna activate a red laser. Ultimately, we need a, well, we've got a red over there, so we need a blue to join it. Um. Yep, yep, yep. Let's stick a red here. Stick a green next to it. And then put this here. And we're done. We under... oh. We understand color theory, but we have to get these things to mix in practice. Um, I can't move that. can't move this. So... Yeah, apparently I should probably just start this one over. Um,
Okay. Well, this is our power source. Um... So... I don't even know I did anything... I don't remember what I did wrong the first time. Somehow I did something wrong. that up and we're good to go. Nice. Help Tim save the environment. Put the bowling ball. Dude, just give your bowling ball to a bowling alley. They'll make good use of it. You don't need to put everything in recycling boxes just to, just to be eco-friendly. You can, you can save the environment by just sharing with people around you who need things. Um, but yeah, okay, fine. We'll put the bowling ball into the box. Oh wow, that missed. Is this gonna hit? I did not expect that to miss. That's really weird. At least for this game, it's pretty weird. Um, hmm. Am I supposed to create a gap there? I mean, how am I supposed to get these tubes to line up? Maybe I add a wall. That shouldn't be necessary, but it should work, so we'll live with it. Okay. That's the real point of what I thought was going to be puzzling here is how do we get this moving fast enough um, to get it up there. Hmm. <laughs> get the bowling ball into the recycling box. You do realize how far apart those are, right? Okay, let's try doing something stupid. Let's uh, invert where these are at. So, uh, so our platform is down there and our pipe is going vertically because maybe that'll preserve momentum better. I don't know how this game does some of those things, so maybe, maybe this will actually make some difference. Yeah, apparently I cannot line these up. Oh, I can. Okay, fine. Still, that shouldn't make any difference. I have to create a cage sized gap in here.
hopefully I've got that going the right way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to elevate this. Uh, let's just try deleting all that. Could have swore I tried to fit that a pixel up a minute ago and it wouldn't place, but now it places. I'll have the cat drag the plank. Okay, yeah, I guess that that made sense. Certainly it worked as evidenced in the puzzle solution. Um, oh, I can actually incline these. And then do something like that. Flip it. And there we go, maybe? Maybe this will work? Again, you're right, it's kind of weird that balls just automatically go up a ramp without rolling back down, but that's how they work in this game. Tim is trying to drive trying to jump off his new high dive, but he's too scared. Give him some help and get him in the water. Cannonball. Man, that looks sticky. Um, well, it's a sunny day out, so just stick the panel up here, right? Am I right? I am most evidently not right, but I like to think I am. Problem solved. Just kidding. Uh, okay. Wait. Where's Tim? Oh, there's Tim. And this must be the high dive right there. So, our objective is to pull that somehow by whatever means it takes. So, they put all these pulleys here to make it look nice, so we'll use them instead of being a rebel. Um, so I just fire this up. That's what happens. Um, why can I turn this? Funny thing about that intersection shape pipe is it fits practically nowhere in any of these puzzles. So if you have a space that's shaped just like that intersection, chances are that space should contain the intersection pipe. Um, I'm not even sure why I bothered powering this. Uh, okay. Well, I appear to have missed something there. I think there's a minimum length to these pipes, so I will... Oh, they changed the minimum. So I could just stick that right there. I was going to say, I thought the minimum was considerably longer than that, so I'll just add some more space. But, no. Um, that's too bad. Hmm. <laughs> A what? Since when could you move the stage around? Is that a bug? Or is that part of the game? No, I've glitched the game out, guys. I'm sorry, we're stuck. Yeah, no, I can't move that. So, uh, GG. I guess with that, 
Um, let's wrap things up. I mean, it was fun trying, but apparently I messed this up badly enough to break the game. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, once again, this is Contraption Maker. So, uh, it's uh, on sale at the Steam Summer Sale. Grab it while it's hot. Uh, hope you guys, again, yeah, I did mention I hope you guys enjoyed. So, I guess the uh, next thing I should mention is uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.